This is, of course, Please Come to Boston, Dave Loggins, 1974. Beautiful tune, really the only hit he had of his own, but he wrote a lot of songs that were big hits for other people, Pieces of April that Three Dog Night did, and a lot of uh, country tunes that uh, became staples for other artists. Um, but this was really his only one that, uh, that broke through the airwaves on its own. Now, the, uh, the history on it is kind of cool because he uh, went out on his first tour with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band in 1972. They were probably promoting their album, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, that had just come out or was coming out in late 72. Um, and they, you know, Dave went along for the ride and was the opening act. And uh, they happened to play in Boston, Denver, and L.A., three places he had never been. And the song then just kind of materialized with him. And the only um, made-up part of the song was there was really nobody back there waiting. But that added a lot to the, to the whole story. So, great tune. Um, the, the intro that I just played is, was two guitars. And as accurately as I could transcribe what the two guitars did um, is what you just heard. But the, and even when he played it live, there's one live version from the Midnight Special um, in probably 74, maybe 75, um, of him doing it on stage. And the guitar playing is pretty well hidden behind lots of other stuff. So I'm really going to talk about a, a solo version that you can play of this without having to have two guitars. Um, the main guitar that Dave played was in, was the song's in the key of E, but he gets there by being in, capoing at the second fret and using chords in D, in drop D tuning. So I've got, I've got the sixth string tuned down to D. And the, the other guitar really just added fills and um, little background stuff. So we're not going to, you know, worry too much about that. But uh, we'll talk about the, the progression and mostly what I'm going to do. I've written out one verse and one chorus in tablature. But this is what I call a generic finger-picking song, meaning you can really do anything. You could keep a steady, alternating bass going. With some little embellishments on each chord. Um, so I've written out, again, a verse and a chorus that are one way you could do it, but I really want you to kind of like learn some of the, the patterns and licks that I have in, in the tab and then make it up as you go. Don't worry about playing every measure note for note. Now when it gets into the chorus, we get into strumming. also a short solo in there and I've written out a solo it goes something like this and that would lead you right into the bridge So um, the main pattern that I'm going to alternate with some of these alternating patterns, too many alternatings in that sentence, is an arpeggio pattern where you'd hit two bass notes in a row. So the way, this is what I would typically do in a song like this, is not just keep a steady alternating bass pattern going as much as do a half a measure with four single notes, two bass notes thumb, thumb, index, middle, and then for the second half of the measure, alternating. So the bass notes also get played on beats three and four. One and two and three and four and. So some variation of that is mostly what we'll be putting together for this. So um, I think that's all I want to tell you about in this. We'll start uh, working our way through the, the tab and the chart and by the time you spend a little time on this, you'll be able to play and maybe sing. I don't know that I'm going to sing much of this. We'll see how it goes. Um, please come to Boston.